he was voted the world's best referee six times or more than that <laughs> and also have, of course he has officiated at the highest level you have to be conscious that uh, you don't know everything you cannot say that uh, i know everything knowing is very important but uh, knowing how to learn uh, is even more important because there is always something to be to be learned and uh, and it is important to be open to, to changes because everything changes very quickly and uh, the one who really survive uh, is not the one who is the strongest is the one who faster react to changes what can be worse than be wrong for a decision maker nothing doing nothing it's better to be right of course but if you have to make a decision it is acceptable that sometimes uh, not too often sometimes uh, you can be wrong but what is uh, unacceptable if you don't make the decision So how do you actually manage that emotional response as a decision maker? What is important? To make a sort of shield to separate the emotions and what you are doing. You really learn a lot about preparation and how do you actually understand about uh, how relevant football is in, in uh, today's business as well. I think today's event was really interesting. Um, he gave a lot of insight about uh, how decision making, um, the challenge of decision making basically. This uh, event was very useful uh, to give a 360 degree view of what all it takes to make the right decision. His key takeaways were, were quite good, uh, saying that um, one should always uh, reflect and always uh, look forward for the future. I'm very pleased to wish uh, the Singapore Institute of Management uh, a very happy birthday.